been this week? Um, I know that, you know, we as our times, we're living through really hard times right now, you know, and it's really hard to remain joyous in these times because there's just a lot going on right now. But we have to remember that God is who he says he is. And today we're actually going to talk about God's love for us. And that's something that should make us so happy that nothing can, should take that joy away from us, from our hearts. Okay. So we're going to begin with a prayer and then we're going to continue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, dear God, we want to thank you today for giving us another day of life, for allowing us to be together talking about you, sharing your message once again. Um, dear Holy Spirit, today we want to ask you to come and shine upon us and show us how to be merciful, show us how to love others, but most importantly, how to love, how to be loved. I ask you, God, to keep those who are in the world safe, keep them healthy in this very difficult time. I ask you to help those people who are directly affected, help them by showing them love, mercy, and giving them all they need during these times. And I ask you for all the kids that are at home watching this, I ask you to open their hearts and their minds so that they may hear your gospel and learn what you want them to learn. In your name, amen. Amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So today we're going to talk about the most holy, the... The Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Uh, we, we're going to celebrate this on Sunday. It's a solemn feast, which means it's a formal feast, feast, a very special celebration. We celebrate that God has manifested himself as one God with three persons, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. When we're baptized, we are baptized in the name of of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we cross ourselves also in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And um, a way that we can, since it's, since it's a solemn mass, it, which means it's a special, special thing, a serious celebration, a, a um, formal celebration, which we can, when we go to mass, we can wear our best dress, our best pants, our best shoes, and take a shower, of course, and and look our best, right? And not only on the outside, but on the inside too, right? We 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 bring our best to God. And um, Saint Patrick used to explain the Most Holy Trinity at, uh, using a a, a three leaf clover, and he would say that God is just how the the clover is one leaf, but it has three parts. Just like that, God is one, but it has three different parts or three different people, right? Do you want to use the apple mm-hmm. too? So I think um, also we can say that the Holy, the Trinity is like an apple. You know, the apple has many parts as well. So the apple has a skin, which is there to protect it, which is like God, he's there to protect us. And then we also have the flesh, which is Jesus, because Jesus was made flesh to come and to live with us for a while and then we have the seeds inside the apple which help grow like the Holy Spirit who helps us flourish into something beautiful like an apple so even though it has three different parts and it has other parts we know that together it's one apple just as the Holy Trinity is one with different parts mm-hmm. so Dios se ha manifestado en tres, tres personas Dios es un solo Dios Con tres diferentes personas, Dios el Padre, Dios el Hijo y Dios el Espíritu Santo. Dios el Padre nos protege, uh, Dios el Hijo se encarnó como la piel, la carne de la manzana y Dios el Espíritu Santo son las semillitas como aquí, las semillitas que se plantan en nosotros y hace que nuestra fe crezca. John 3, 16 through 18 for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. 
For God did not send his son into the world to be its judge, but to be its savior. Those who believe in the son are not judged, but those who do not believe have already been judged because they have not believed in God's only son. The word of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today's gospel, um, God tells us that God loves the world. And by the world, he means each and every person that's in the world. That has each and every person that has lived throughout the history of time and will live in the future. And um, God loves all races. God loves all colors, all ages, all genders. God loves grumpy people. God loves happy people. Um, God loves the saints. And God loves sinners. Because at some point we've all we've all broken one of the Ten Commandments, you know, and God doesn't love sin. God hates sin, but He loves us. You know, we make mistakes, and for for those who believe in God, we ask Him to forgive us, right? God loves us so much, even though we sin, that He gave His only Son as a sacrifice, so that. God took on all the evil that is in the world that exists in us, in human beings. Um, and all we have to do is acknowledge that Jesus is Lord and Savior and recognize all the amazing, amazing things that God has done for his people. And uh, I think that's, that's a beautiful message. Do you want to add anything? Do you want to say anything? I think that... Um, you know, this is this gospel. You know, it's used frequently for Valentine's because it's a mm -hmm. it's a t testimony of God's love. It's it's He Himself saying it word for word, like I love you so much, and I do anything for you, even send you my Son and sacrifice, and and even though He had to suffer, He did it because He loved us, and mm -hmm. so I think it's a beautiful. It's like a poem of love that God mm -hmm. gives us. Mm -hmm. Great. So. Let's take a moment to acknowledge God right now and let's let's think about an experience that we've had where God has shown us his love. Um, okay, so um, we're going to think with you guys and reflect on what are some times that God has shown his love for us this week and we're going to label this basket right here our gratitude basket. And we're going to reflect and we're going to write down what are some things that maybe even today before I got here or throughout this week, what are some things that you guys and us have um, experienced that have shown you like, wow, God is really with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a pencil. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I think like the first thing that I'm going to write, which is something that I feel that God has really, really shows me that He loves me is through my family, mm -hmm. because I feel like without them, you know, I would be sad. They make me happy. They make me feel loved. And when I'm sad, they're, they're there to make me feel God's love. And when I think that I can't do something, they're there to remind me. So mm -hmm. I am very grateful for my family. Okay. And um, one thing. How God has shows me every day that He loves me is that um, that we I have a place to live. You know, thanks to God, um, He provides to me the shelter, um, and He gives us food. You know, He feeds us. He He provides my husband and I with with a job, and we're able to to um, to have buy food with it. So we're, I'm really grateful. Uh, to God that we're able to have these things. Okay, so we want to put that in the basket. So I was thinking specifically of something that happened to me today, where I really felt like God was there and He showed me His love. It's I put a parking spot because <laughs> it is so hard to find parking in my street, mm -hmm. but I found a parking right in front of my house. So I was like, "Thank you, God! Like you knew I was tired. You're there to show." Show me that you love me, mm -hmm. and I something so small, but I know that it was an act that God was showing me that He loves me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really cool. Put in the gratitude um, basket. 
something that happened to me today too um i in the morning i had said that i wanted to visit my mom after work and i was already driving back home and i had completely forgotten but out of nowhere got the holy spirit re reminded me this, to exit on um, the exit to go to my mom's house mm. so i was able to i didn't forget then i went to visit my mom and yeah so that was a really nice experience and i was like that was God, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so thank you. I'm really grateful for that. He helped me today with that. So I'm gonna put that in the gratitude basket. So and as you guys can God. see, like the gifts that God has given us um, are big and they're small. They come in different sizes, but He's always there showing us His love, and we we just have to be looking for them. We just have to have a open heart and a open mind, open eyes, and be ready to accept these little gifts that he gives us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay, so when you guys finish this video, do the same thing with your family. Um, you know, just grab a piece of paper, label it gratitude, and pass around papers and ask your family what they're grateful for. What what little sh little signs of love did they see that day? And mm -hmm. Write them on the comments. Mm -hmm. Write us what you felt was a little sign of love from God. Mm -hmm. yeah, or things that you are grateful for. And uh, hopefully, maybe we'll see some of you guys at Mass this Sunday. Right? Hopefully. And um, yeah, I hope that God continues to bless each and every one of you and your families. Que Dios bendiga a cada uno de ustedes, a sus familias. Y... Um, que, que Dios no, nos dé uh, um, la gracia de poder seguir creciendo nuestra fe y los queremos mucho. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.